being a professional bull rider in today's world takes more than it ever has. You have to be one of the 1% that puts in the work and invest in yourself as a business. It has to be everything that you want to do and it has to be because you love bull riding. So we're at the PBR Sports Performance Center in Pueblo, Colorado. This is our first ever bull riding optimal performance academy. So everyone talks about professional rodeo athletes, right? And I think it's hard for them to grasp that when there are not many places like this that make you feel like you're a professional athlete. So coming into a training facility like this, it just adds to what we're doing. It makes them feel like they're a professional athlete and that's part of it. Riley went from Plainview, Minnesota. So when I first heard about it, I was all in, like I said, and I signed up and about a month later, I just had a bad get off and unlucky, broke my wrist and had surgery on it. And I was thinking about not coming, but Paul and Doug were both huge advocates on being here no matter what. And I'm super happy that I showed up because even though I can't get on, I am soaking in everything. And it has been an incredible amount of information that it's just, it's, it's unreal. I'm glad that you are all here because like Doug said, you invested in yourself. So that already sets you above everybody else. The guys that show up here are invested, Two plain and simple. They're invested financially. They're investing their time and, and they're investing their energy to come here and, and better themselves. These aren't your everyday guys just wanting to get on a bull for the heck of it. They're wanting to make a career out of this. These guys, are setting themselves ahead of every other person that thinks that they can't see it as an investment. This is a business, and that's what this school gives them an opportunity to do. Ready, go. There's more than just putting a rope on a bull, putting a leg on each side, and trying to stay on 30 seconds. There's way more to it than that talk about your finances, they talk about social media, they talk about branding. A big portion of what I do when I come here is help and talk about sponsorships, how to get them, attain them, social media, um, fitness, nutrition, fundamentals. It encompasses everything to be a whole athlete. Those are things that just, they weren't talked about. They haven't ever been talked about until now and, and we're bringing it to life. Right back, go, 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 go. I want you to drive those feet through the ground, try and bring them apart. Create that force again, okay? Four reps. start to come up, you're skiing that band down. Okay. So what? Yep. Kind of like that, yeah. Good job. He flies a lot higher than I do. He's up there, dude. For one that I admire the most was the patience. Willing to sit with these guys and just let them know like, hey, it's okay you don't know it all. This is what we're here to do. We're here to get you around guys who do know what you're looking for. And what I love is that I've seen here that everyone gets their time, whether it's questions, any help being more limber, injuries, recovery. I love how y'all have just displayed that by taking the time with each one of these guys to get to not only know who they are, but know what's going on in their head. And y'all are able to guide them towards a direction. Bull riding is physics. One thing, one thing affects the other, okay? So I, my foundation is a complete foundation from the bottom of my calves to the top of my groin, I'm in contact, okay? I brought in professionals at bull riding, right? I'm not a professional bull rider. I've never even been on a bull. So getting to listen to their coaching and kind of see a different point of view than a bareback rider or saddle bronc rider has been really cool. And I'm getting to learn a ton about not only the event, but it teaches me a ton about what I'm able to do as a coach. One of these, I was just moving the whip. 
Okay. But my shoulders are staying parallel. I'm, I'm just my upper body is floating. I'm riding the bull with my legs. My upper body is just floating. The different views on how to change things and make things work for you has been huge because it's not just one person pounding in your head the right way to do it. It's so many different perspectives and ways to look at it that we can make work for ourselves. All that stuff, okay. But your expenses, monthly expenses are broken into two categories, fixed and variable, okay? Fixed means what? Mark. Yeah, it doesn't change, it's the same. Like, financials was massive, especially as a, as a rodeo athlete. I don't think those things are, are talked about a lot. And so being able for all the coaches to sit down with us for you know two class days and go over these things and let you know like, hey, these resources are here. We're here to help you, like is huge. Man, could you imagine explaining to yourself 10 years ago where you are now? So when you get those days that you're down on yourself, you've been in a slump, you've been bucked off, you got your arm bucked up. <laughs> For instance, you know, what can you do to bring yourself out of it? Look at where you came from, but also look at where you're going. This was something I would have had when I started riding bulls. I probably wouldn't have struggled for three years. I thought I was learning pretty good and pretty solid, but um, I probably could have turned those three years into three months with the information that's given out here. I don't think we're trying to change the cowboy mentality at all. I think what we're trying to do is add another element to it and that you need to be an athlete as well. And then we'll go, the, the one thing I really want you guys to do is, you know, me talking about getting your hips under you and really getting locked into those shoulders. I'm going to show you my, my process of getting to that place without it being a big issue. You get there, you get there pretty easily. I'm up off my butt a little bit, but I'm not way up off my butt. I'm still connecting. Remember what we're doing on the barrel? So, so this, this puts me in a position where now I'm locked on top of the shoulder. getting on today after all the barrel work that we did and just everybody explaining things. It was like a light switch just flipped. Strong? It felt a lot stronger. Yeah, I could feel it. You left there good. Uh, we put more time and effort into stock selection than probably any other aspect of, of this school because we want an environment where guys can can learn. Like confidence is a huge thing in sports and you know when you get matched up with a bull here it was perfect because I know I was like hey like I do my job I'm gonna get this bull road I'm gonna feel great about myself when I get off a bit. You know you get on a bunch of buckers and you haven't developed your craft you're just learning to buck off. When you get on bulls that you're able to learn on you know that's when you start elevating in your craft and this was the most even set of you know, even set of bulls I've ever seen. That was a perfect practice pit. Like they need to be getting on stock that is, that is going to allow them to work on the fundamentals. But then we also need to have the option to test those guys and, and test their metal a little bit. I've learned more in the last three days than I've had the last four years of bull riding with everything from how to go about everything when you step inside that buck and shoot and the things you need to do uh, mentally and physically to be successful. Just keep breathing and have some fun. This ain't nothing you ain't done before, it's just going to be a lot better. point of these is to grow the sport and grow the next generation of rodeo athlete right so having 10 guys here fires me up and makes me I, I'm here for the right guys right
These are the, the right 10 guys that are supposed to be here and learn this and they're going to take this and they're going to run away with all the money. And people are going to be looking at them saying, what the, whoa, you know, how'd that happen? It's not just because of this one school, but it's because they're going to continue to work on the things, all the things they learn at this school. And that over time consistency is going to add to major success in the arena at a professional level. The money that you spend on this is nothing compared to I mean, what, what I'm gonna win this summer. Like, I feel so much more confident. The knowledge that you get from this school is next to none. Like, there's nothing out there like this. When they get this, take it back to your strong place. I see the heart. You got it, man. You got it. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate that. You bet, bro. What I took away from this school is more confidence in knowing that I can be successful. There are steps and levels to this, and uh, the group of guys here and the coaches and the team see that in me, and then I see that in myself even more now. Not very often you see a team of people come together for a bull rider. You know what I mean? So um, I definitely think that it's a, it's a, a stepping stone to get to that next level. You know, they're not teach you, they're not going to teach you every little tip and trick, but gosh dang, you they teach you a lot. You're not just here learning to be a better bull rider. You're coming here to be a well-educated, rounded man, and I think that's what a lot of guys are going to benefit from this school. The training's great, the bull riding's great, but you need a plan. You need something to wake up every day and have a war room with yourself. And I believe this school has the resources to point you in that direction, give you the stepping tools to get there. With the, the main thing that they're gonna draw from this is, is they're gonna shorten their learning curve. And so they're gonna have a longer, more successful career having come to an OPA than if they didn't. And whether that turns into a world title or not, you know, that's not out of our hands. That's out of anybody's hands, really. But I think that, that the, they have the tools now, that if that's their, their desire and their goal, they can go do it. Guys, I'm, I'm really proud of you. The future of rodeo and bull riding is looking really bright with you guys, all right? Um, that being said, we're all a family now. Like, if you guys need anything, whether it's rodeo related or not, you call us, all right? We'll be there for you. We'll help you out any way we can. We're um, here to, to further the sport, make the sport better, and get more people into this and learn to be more successful a lot faster than all these guys here coaching were. You know, it takes a long time to get good at this. If we can cut that down and get a lot more success from the next generation of professional bull rider.